I think probably the biggest issue I hear from people who are looking to move to the cloud, actually the data is, you can encrypt the data and you can protect it and you can uh, duplicate it and spread it around the, the network and there are some pretty interesting schemes for making sure you uh, have a dedupe version of duplication, if you will, a, a low, low, low cost way of, of, of duplicating stuff. The place where people get uncomfortable moving to the cloud is the transaction, the actual transaction. It is hard to encrypt and protect the actual moment data gets created and, and that, that uh, memory management environment right by the CPU where you're actually creating the transaction. And so people are afraid that people will steal their data at creation, uh, not in storage, but at creation. And, and nobody has really figured out how to encrypt and, and camouflage the actual uh, data at conception. Uh, and I'm not a techni technical person, but I sort of understand what's going on there because you're talking about a very high performance environment. Uh, right in the uh, central cache of the microprocessor in the core of the kernel. And uh, that, has not, that has not been protected. So people are very worried about their transactions being intercepted uh, by a virus uh, in the cloud with them not knowing. And until you really solve that problem, uh, it's gonna be harder to get people to stop server hugging and putting servers in their own data center. So I, I think that's the biggest issue. There's actually not a, a, a huge database issue. Use, usability of your database environment is still a, is still a big deal, uh, but uh, you can solve that one. That one's solvable. Nobody's really invented the solution to, uh, to secure transactions in the cloud yet. Listen, I thank you. Uh, I'm gonna do something kind of risky here. Uh, treat it carefully. Uh, actually, if you, if you have anything, send it to, that you want to get to me, send it to Karen, and she'll give you her email. And um, <laughs> it's been kind of nice, you know, I had the scott.mcneely Scott at sun.com for, I don't know, 28 years as my only email address, and now I got another one, and it's kind of nice not getting all the junk mail. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll let Karen forward. If you have anything that I can help you with, uh, she can uh, send it on, and if I'm excited, I'll respond back to you. And uh, good luck to you all. Keep up the good work. You're fighting the good battle, and I wish you all the best. Take care.